east. It's putting some fire on Papa now, but we've got it under control at the moment. All right, we'll be back up and running. I do sincerely, yeah, sincerely apologize for that. But, Blitzer, what's happening right now? As I said, it is really popping off the popping of now. Squad Beans and OMBD together have managed to push up on the east side uh, and really give it to uh, MM and FA. You've got red coats holding the hills to the south of Popanov okay, and many of the art with a mixture of FA. Really doing a good job on North Central and holding that down. Right. Copy out. Uh, Russia still still in control the at the minute, flags wise, but um, US really putting in the effort to, to gain some advantage. Yeah, they really are. Again, guys, I do sincerely apologize, of course, there for the technical difficulties. It happens, but more importantly, it's all about uh, donating to stackup.org, guys. Uh, we do see the Squad Beans and Americans now pushing into Popanov. Uh, of course, when uh, technical difficulties happened, of course, we saw the Russians in control of here, but, uh, of this point, but now we could see a different story. A lot of Americans around. If we have a look, as Blitz has said, uh, Russians do control a majority Where's of the, the flags. Now Popinov. the FOB is starting to get taken down on Popinov. Uh, can we get some James Cameron in here, Sass? Ooh, definitely. Let's push through the smoke. That BTR oh. is still going to work on the west side. Okay, that what? Sorry, Tom. Uh, squad comms, OMBD are capping for Popanov. That BTR is just making short work of those uh, obstacles. Yeah, he's doing a really I've good job there, yeah, Bambi. So Bambi there so. and Fempo uh, working uh, enemy together. Enemy fob, I'm retaking Popanov. Enemy BTR? You mean enemy crow, right? No. Enemy FOB on, uh, on, on my BTR, squad 4. Beautiful there with the BTR, taking it down, a squad beans, and really helping that fob. Right, we, fob we, we is fob still now. up, it has gone from red to blue, that means it is A-OK, -okay, but now the Americans know exactly where that fob is located. And the Russians are now going to start pushing in. The getting An shot old man, the Bring Death, now slowly getting surrounded. Only Piero and Old Man from Death Thailand are left alive. He, ju he just needs to get in there and survive oh. that. We're real sorry, guys. You guys oh, missed a no. pivotal moment here. That was a full scale assault on uh, Fog Popanov, and uh, <laughs> looks yeah. like it was repelled. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's been pushed back there. Well, well, we're forced by the Russian oh. uh, team there. And uh, thanks, chat. I will, of course, hashtag yes, Blame Nordic yeah, for that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> hashtag Blame Nordic. Thank you, Nordic. <laughs> it's, it's already there. Hashtag BN. Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking for the fob. Pretty think, uh, sure he DDoSed the uh, Saster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sent too much packets through, mate. Uh, that's uh, it. The issue with the stream and the then fob, getting the fob, uh, fob, getting pushed back off popping off. It's all Blame Nordic right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so you know guys, village. boys, we are losing, the US team are losing uh, FOB and Kilo 3, uh, Ops and SVG, Paradise Asterix have managed to swing round to uh, Kilo 3, Keep have 5. Yeah, just getting, down. getting eyes on that now. <laughs> Beautiful uh, team there, work there, of course, that emplacement being built on that hill. Uh, you can only build emplacements by putting down a fob, so that gives a clear indication of oh, so within that vicinity there will be a fob, and that's what uh, Chronic has done there. Never no, mind, it was worth a try. Yeah, good mission, man. We nearly did it. Enemy out the west. Are you gonna jump? It has changed. That uh, full scale assault has changed the uh, the nature of the map. It has, hasn't completely. it? Completely. It, there was a huge support back structure to to uh, the uh, Russian team, like the lanes of fire, organized cover, and now they're all uh, all up on Southwest. there. So they sort of contained themselves, but secured it. Mm. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. On on your side, Blizzard, how's the comms going in terms of the squad lead uh, squad leaders on the the American side? Um, doing that full scale attack, of course, that would be over over the moon with their, with starting to cap it, but now being pushed back. Is the is the has has the mood changed for the Americans? No, no, they're all they're all still on the same sort of vein. I mean, everyone understands the difficulty in taking Popanov, especially with the uh, the way that Russia used their assets with the BTR. 
They're just trying to get regrouped. The main issue with BTR the US force at the minute, BTR they've got no K1 major spawn, so uh, there's no fob with losing to your, heroes. Uh, they they no, haven't got no, any no, secondary no. spawns. Oh, there's a couple of rallies, but they're going to have to be really careful what they Rodan, do here, otherwise Rodan. Russia can steam straight through the middle of them. Rodan. Uh, just have a look yeah, there. Good job, good job. Sorry, Sass, the comms are good. You know, they're still talking got, through the plans next, and what they want to do. Yeah, just have a, have a look there. We had uh, good old Duncan Beck and Marvel 91 just take down a uh, Crow or a uh, Humvee out towards the eastern side of Papanov, which is the last real threat to Papanov. The um, Russians back in control. Chronic's crew um, out towards the south side. Good old, uh, looks like a J3 keypad 3 squad 4 there. Maybe looking to get that offensive in towards the north village, which is the okay, next okay, attack guys, point. We've, we've got, we're, we're taking the contact on north village. Um, well, we're on the I'll east, but we can't there. push down. We're engaging them from the hilltop. And There's we're involved in a firefight. We Me need someone class. to come in from the west no, or the north. Yeah, a little bit of a lull here squad now. Squad it looks like across up. both forces yeah, while they try and get regrouped and and really get a grip of the situation and where they can go next. This is interesting to see on uh, on the Russian side. They're basically setting back into defensive posture that they had going before. It's uh, very organized. It's very impressive to see. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. back on, back on for, uh, for Popinov, we have, uh, looks like Zulatra Delta fighting Honey Badgers, uh, securing, of course, the uh, southern side and the western side. Oh, don't want to break you off here, but nope. that, they... They know about that defensive posture. Look over to the westernmost BTR. They set up an ambush for it when it goes back there. There's two Humvees right behind it. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Yep, just uh, checking out. That, I was talking about organized play. This is super organized. They know that we're gonna Wow. Duncan Beck, Marvel 91 getting time. taken down there. Go, Finally, go, go, go. that BTR is going to lose 30 tickets, 323 Just tickets, 1 hour BTR. 23 left. Squad Beans there. Good old Luxon yeah, there be. in yeah, the Humvee with the Mac Fisher and Tripax as we well with the LAT. That is organized. That was an organized play to take out that BTR. And Beautiful. here comes the intangible effect again. So, sure, they, they got that ticket offset with that kill. But already look at the BTR North. Tempo, he can't just sit there anymore spotting. Now he has to go scout and see if they're coming for him too. Now that's, mm. again, that's going to affect the gunner on the other BTR. Yeah, very true. So, of course, the, the BTR still scanning the horizons out towards the south side. And also over towards the western side as well. But as uh, stated there by Z Trooper... Tempo just moving out just to see ooh, okay, which which direction is, is good, that We're coming in from the south. We've got uh, two two coming in from the north. Let's do this. Chronic yeah, uh, pop it off nice and quiet. Chronic now launching assault. We do have on the south side squad four heading to the south side of the north village coming in from the J4 keypads. Four and one position. They're going to use the hills as an advantage. And squad okay, two coming in as well. On village. We, just we are seeing a bit of a pincer move. Twenty R red coats going up against good old go, squad yeah, ops, and it looks like Chronix is squad leading surrounded. them with a uh, Serenian squad Vanguard. Two, be advised. And Asterix coming Kilo in from behind three. as well. Keypad one. East of your position. I'll be dead. Guys, don't forget the reason for this stream and for this CCFN event. It's all about charity, guys. Stackup.org is the charity that... It, it's the charity. It is the charity that CCFN are promoting. It's for, it's for Squad Up and for Stack Up as well. It's all about today. We have streamers from all over uh, Twitch streaming for this charity. So, guys, wherever you go tonight or, or the day that you're in... And you are watching Twitch, and someone is raising too. funds. Donate, please, because uh, it means it means the world uh, for these uh, veterans battling depression, PTSD, combat injuries. You know, through the through gaming. You know, it's 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 a passion that we have, um, and it's something uh, we, we should really give back to the uh, the veterans. Squad beans there. Looks like 20 hours as well. 
just uh, just for the benefit of the street, uh, the people in the stream, uh, American Force at 254 tickets currently. 254, 312 here, so it's it's slowly starting to. Uh, the, the gap the gap is widening. 40 minutes of play already. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll start to see that gap expanding Sending quite B2 quite rapidly with yeah. the uh, lack of penetration, the pressure on Popanov now. American three trying to consolidate on North Village. Uh, can hear Rossi Raider from the Red Coats uh, trying to get everyone centralised, get people on those hills. Try to get on that gap at the minute. Yeah, so they're all ce all centralised in in that shed on North Village. Paradise yeah, coming in, Asterix. Yeah, all yeah, it takes is to make here. GL, Frag, the, uh... RPG, anything. Yeah, it's the FOB that's much... They've, they've neutralised the Paradise forces to the north. They really need to uh, start smoking yeah, and, and, and getting out of that position. Otherwise, they're going to get overrun pretty quickly. We do see Bambi from uh, from MM and Fear Academy Tempo as well. Giving uh, a bit of support go. with that BTR. Now that BTR is going to strafe in that house. They know they're all in there. I think I think the wise choice here is just to accept that 20 tickets plus the people in there and not spawn on it anymore. It's yeah, going to be a chunk of tickets, but it's going to be worse if they continue. Yep. It's, it's just going to be a, a bleed of tickets. We've I think we do s oh, just having oh, a look oh, over towards Fall Papa. To check it. No, they're, they're still, in the def yeah, still in the defensive position. If you want to get some plus up shots, you should go inside that house while the BTR shoots. <laughs> yeah, that penetration is absolutely yeah, destroying the US forces now. Position. They need to move quick and they need to do it now. They seem to be moving vehicles through that. Don Quebec now moving up on the uh, the south side. Oh, grenade throwing in! Oh no. Oh. Of course, that the, the debris there is going to get a couple... A couple bleeding, a couple injured. Yeah, beach. They're calling for the BTR to open fire now. Oof. Absolute. That's just pure carnage. Yeah, just bloodshed yeah. within the shed. <laughs> we got a village you can't no, bro, hamstring yourself by piling into one shed like that you really need to get spread out across both sides of the road okay i think we're gonna rename yeah, we've, uh yeah we've got a that, slight uh, issue with uh Humvee north village cap point to bloodshed bloodshed rossi raider just coming over the commander comes for us forces saying they need to sort that uh, that btr out and get it to neutralize as quick as possible and just for the uh, benefit of okay, people in the stream, are, US forces are now setting up FOBs right along the uh, the number work. one row Good in job, Echo Bobby. One and Hotel One, where they're, they're trying uh, to get a flank on. Echo One and Hotel One. We do see now the Russians pushing in. That shed is just okay, full of blood down, and down. carnage. That now we do have the uh, Russians, the only ones on the North Village area. But uh, as stated there well, before three, by three, Blitzer, three, 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 we do see three, Old Man Bring Death doing one of their famous three, flanks. They're, they're a clan that love to flank. Three, three, and they're, uh, they're four, the ones coming three, in from four, the four, Western four, region. One, two, uh, we do oh, have... They're going to yeah, they... do another ambush because, they, again, they know where that BTR is yep. and there are three yep. vehicles coming in. And unfortunately, um, the they're top. not going to be quick enough to know, save that cap, really but they can neutralize that BTR, which is obviously going to be the bigger ticket no, no, swing. Keep it, keep it on, keep it on. We yeah, have and also, just they don't have that we support in the future. Now That's they can move keep up. Skeleton crew. Yep. Keep a skeleton crew at Papa yeah, they're, 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 they've, they've been holding back. It. If we look at their kill Go. scores, they're, they're pretty substantial in those BTRs. So, uh, Chronic sure. now, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, a, like three guys it's a risky uh, decision and Chronic now stating Papa leave a skeleton crew at Papanov and the rest start pushing out. So only leave a couple guys at Papanov. We already see Old Man Bring Death out towards the western region. Yeah, they're just biding their time. I had, a, I have a feeling uh, this is something that's quite fun to do in, uh, in public matches. When, when you're no longer in, have to, to be on that cap flag, you don't have to just run across the map. Just like pull back a little bit, wait for it. And then when they pull out, you go shoot them. Yeah, so you, or take yeah. what they have. You can see what Old, old Man Bring Death's Kyle is doing here. I'm not too, too sure in terms Heads of his up, squad got comms. Got K, five, but six, Old Man Bring Death uh, have range on Fear Academy, on pushing the, out 
Zoo Electric Delta pushing out, but they're not opening fire. If they open fire, then they know, oh, an assault's about to happen on the West End side. So really yeah. smart here by Old Man Bring Death. To... Yeah, that, that's the way you play it, especially yep. in a situation now where your team's on the back foot. And if you're in a position on the flank, just hold that fire, you know, keep the discipline and, and stay in hiding. I mean, Russia forces really now should be looking right. There's been a massive peak here in contact. There's a bit of pause. We've taken down an FOB. We should really be pushing now and getting all, getting out into those paths of advance for US forces. Bambi, Bambi and Tempo. Yeah, sorry about that. But Bambi and Tempo were very lucky. With they, they, they had a, the, the Americans had a two lat crew uh, from Old Man Bring Death, Torsman and uh, Pazuz. Wow, uh, very lucky just to drive off in time. It would have been, uh, it would have been devastating now. It looks like Old Man Bring Death bringing up the crow. And Old Man Bring Death looks like they're gonna start the attack very, very yeah, that shortly. Be in North Village right now. On Papa. Well, he was affected by, uh, by exactly what I was affected by the other night when I lost the game for our team. I was running, uh, on low stamina, trying to take a shot on a, uh, on an enemy vehicle. It was mm. a super close match. My sway was, uh, so bad because of the, my, my poor, very, very poor stamina management, and uh, I missed the game and lost by 10 tickets. Mohom there bandaging or fixing yeah, his belt, hard, as I call it, with the animation. Uh, it looks like he's fixing his belt. We're starting to lose it. Now Mohom calling into Chronic, okay they're starting to lose Papa. And Asterix already 90% capped on the North Village. 90% capped, copy that. Do we have any yeah, other assets set up at Papa not? Any vehicles? No, we got left in the open yeah, we got hit by a full squad. So we are going to see yeah. the Russians capture North, North Village field. right now. 309 we tickets. To Old West. Man oh, Bring no, Death no, cannot do anything on Fob uh, Papanov. Inside Papanov, so we should defend North Village now. That was yeah, timing. Uh, oh, yeah, oh my God, now the fight G7 goes to go for Hill, uh, Hill 1, as I can see it there. Copy. Um, with SVG, MM, Paradise. All and FA all over the place, clans yeah, everywhere in a position to hold that now and cap it as well. Uh, Russia really taking the front now, foot and getting that momentum and driving it down the map. Yeah, so you see now the Americans starting yeah, to push up on all sides out, pushing three. up towards the north. There's only squad four, Chronix crew on hill one, two, three, which is the next attack point for the Russian forces. We're going to see the BTR start to uh, roll up. It's headed, it's headed to north uh, village at the moment. But we do see the Americans now starting to, to push up on that northern well. side and eastern side, multiple yep. directions. Squad beans, red coats, all working how together. Are they, uh, how are the tickets looking? I feel like, just from like a game sense, that be beyond that fob loss in the bloodshed, um, they've they've actually. I feel like the U.S. have uh, dealt a pretty serious blow across the board yeah, to the uh, Russians. Maybe okay, team. Z Trooper is a developer of this game. You should be the one in the know. <laughs> what is your guess at the American tickets right oh, now? Oh, there are so many devs everywhere. Okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, Julia six. It's below 150, I'd say. Okay, that's uh, good. That's a good start. 130. That's my guess. Wow. 103 currently for the US forces. That's a good, good Julia, guess. Julia that you've been six, close. I think. I'm That's forward. an FOB, you know. <laughs> yep. That's good. Yeah. yeah. 100, wow, 101 now for American forces, and it really is consolidation time. Get regrouped on on Hill One. Uh, get together. Get centralised, and then see what you can do. And it, it really is ticket preservation right now. Yeah. So 270 tickets to here for the Russian forces. Yeah, we've, we've got, we've got Americans, as Blizzard said, just get now. regrouped and really they preserve. They've potentially got us in a pincer. If they've got control of Papanov and they manage to place a fob, they can come down on village from the north. Yeah, how's the cap going on? Guys, north, also, uh, I wanted chronic. to mention, because we've raised $1,000, of course, for stackup.org, this I'm worthy down, cause, uh, that has allowed us to send a supply crate to really any military base of our choosing or to a deserving veteran, but also every additional $500 uh, raised will give us another supply crate to supply a military base or a deserving vet. 
Okay, so squad one, are you holding? Wow, okay. um, it, 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 yeah, well, passing that 1,000 mark uh, now. Um, the every $500 we can keep sending to, supply yeah. crates, guys. Get the donations in. Um, of course, we want to we want to help out uh, how much we can. If it's with money, if it's with supply crates yeah, or, or anything, get on the that. word out. Get on yeah. get on Twitter. Get on Facebook. Just get the word out the, uh, of the event happening tonight. Good old hashtag squad up before stack up. Are you guys capping yet? Yeah? Sorry, Zed and Sasa, maybe you guys can can inform the viewers again. The, there is a giveaway going on. Well, it's ongoing throughout the stream. Is it five dollars, and you guys get put into the exactly, the guys? Raffle? Yeah, so five. If you donate five dollars, uh, you go automatically into the raffle to win the, the next giveaways that happen. Uh, every uh, I think after this event, there'll there, be more giveaways. Down. Then there'll be streamers versus streamers. After yeah, that, like giveaways. So there's gonna be giveaways down. throughout the night. Some epic prizes to be won. Uh, 1070s, okay. GDX 1070s. Uh, we've got okay. heaps of game keys that uh, the OWIs are giving away as well. So just five dollars oh, will get you into the draw there to win uh, some epic, epic prizes. Okay, I just wanted to say we're sort of wrapping up on one, official two, time slot on OWI here. No worries. It's uh, if for those of you that want to follow this battle and the. Uh, the rematch uh, from uh, this uh, team switch. Uh, you're welcome to join CCFN's uh, YouTube channel or uh, Twitch channel, sorry, and uh, and follow that. Uh, otherwise, uh, stay on this channel. Exactly, guys. Yeah, just a little bit about CCFN, guys. Sorry, sorry, Sass. No, no, please, okay, Blitzer. CCFN. CCFN, guys, was created well as done, a way um, to host platforms for the clans within squad, team? and what, what we do is we facilitate on. battles every Sunday. Uh, and it gets streamed no, right here on this channel, um, and it's a little bit of a uh, uh, a haven for the clans yeah, of squad to come and have some decent gameplay. So, you know, as we stated earlier on in the stream, we've been invited by the squad uh, developers in the squad up for stack up event to host this for you tonight. Um, but we do it every Sunday. Uh, the jeans in chat, I can see how do you donate. There is a button uh, underneath on our page where it says donate here. We yeah, can go to stackup.org and follow the links there. Yeah, right exactly, there. guys. Yeah, or in the description up. as well, uh, where it says uh, CCFN4, hashtag stackup.org, there is a little uh, okay, uh, hey, a little hyperlink there. You can click there. Top right-hand like corner has the donate there. Or as Blitzer said, just down below, we do have the donation button. Click on that. It will take you directly to donations or... Go straight over to stackup.org and, and, and send in a, per, a personal uh, donation if you'd like. There we go. I've just linked it in chat for you guys if you're wanting to make a donation. And as always, every dollar counts, you know. Every dollar. One dollar, two dollars. Every dollar counts, guys. I repeat, and I think we're drawing this to a good close here. We've Fun. got Americans on 27 tickets. 27 tickets, 220 over here. So now the gap is... Really okay, widening now. Well and, truly well, open. well and truly split open. We, we, we need to push hard. That was almost perfect timing. <laughs> <four times left>. <laughs> 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 Who would have planned it? <laughs> Who would have planned it? Twenty-seven. All it takes is a fob, Humvees. Uh, it's gonna be the bleeding. It kills this game yeah. off. Asterix and Paradise, along with SMG and a few others, really doing a good job here of Hill One. Um, it's, it really is a pain to attack this objective with the, the inclination on the hills and all that Ooh. sort of good stuff, so... Yeah, free. I'm gonna hold my... You wanna see, uh, oh, see medics here free. doing their best to get people up, know. local yeah, comms... Enemy searching hard from Papua Nova towards North Village at the moment. Okay, 50% cap, 50% cap. 50% so capped on the hill. One, two, three. Chronic still playing like it's a uh, three tickets different. That's how you should be playing it. Absolutely, because yeah. you never know. Always. You never know. You never know. You know. You should never give up on that one ticket or two tickets. Or it's like 60 tickets. You blow 100 tickets. Nah, it's game over, guys. Never, never do that. Especially if you never. Do a rematch. 
uh, for anyone that's keeping score afterwards. I mean, you take the difference between the two matches. Those three tickets might... I mean, you might lose by a lot, but that might set you off the next game for the combined win. Yeah, for sure. You can never predict how the second game's gonna go, you know. It's the same on the US forces here. They know they're getting low, but they're still grinding over every inch of the map to make sure they facilitate a platform where they can win this in the second game. So these clans are well aware of of what's going on and, and the possibilities of the second round. Exactly. Totally agree. How many yeah, tickets do you have now, Blitzer? There's 186 here. Eight tickets were made in. Eight. 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 In the chat, asking for an overview from the commentators about how this has gone, and it's probably a good way to finish off the stream, Sas. So what are your thoughts about this round? <sighs> wow. Okay. Well, well, there it goes. There. We'll, we'll let it. We'll let everyone uh, talk it through, and I'll I'll give you my point of view. Good job, guys. Love BTR. Wow. 185 tickets there. Win. Game. I guess uh, we'll start the change of map there, but I, I, from my point of view, uh, Russians definitely, with the defense, they I think it was Papanov, with the defense on Papanov, um, beautiful BTR placements uh, to keep up the pressure on the south side hill of Papanov, uh, the defense is placed on Papanov, even though they got overrun, and I do apologize again guys, of course, uh, cutting the feed there due to technical difficulties, but they basically came back to get to capture that, and that pushed the uh, the Americans uh, back down to the north village, Chronic's crew on that K line, taking down that fob there, taking down that, uh, that uh, 50 cal, uh, really, I, I think the, the Russians played uh, really well in terms of their comms. We're just constantly going with the squad leaders. There's always a plan. There was never a, a, a silent a silent treatment between all of it. It's all about that communication, and they really had it going for them. Um, but I think, for me, it just came down to that Papanov and really securing it and coming back from almost losing it um, and those BTR placements were, were just spot on. What about think, you guys? Uh, yeah, like, the, the grand picture of it, the way I see it is, it's the way I see most matches that are at least semi-structured. Most of it seems to be like a, a general stalemate on the map, and then something pivotal happens, and that's yes. where, where it all comes from. So I don't think the 180-ish tickets tells the whole story, because that pivotal moment for me was <laughs> the Murphy's Law here. It was during the, uh, the blackout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the entire team, they were inside Papanov. They were capping. And what was really impressive to see in all the chaos was both teams just committed every single able-bodied person in that cap, and they managed to wrestle it back from the US, which is... Uh, if they had not do that, had done that, then then it would have been a different game because those BTRs would start being hunted by infantry now that they couldn't just sit back anymore. And then yeah. were they sufficiently defended on the other points and the US could mount a lot of small Humvee squads? I, I don't know. Could have gone the other way easily after mm. that engagement. For sure. Just before I... just. Just give my little insight. Um, thank you, Hexcast, for the donation of twenty dollars, mate. Much appreciated, buddy. That Cheers. is you in for a draw, um, for a prize. So thank you, much appreciated. It's going to go a long way. Thank you. It is definitely. Um, ju just to kick off what you're saying there, Zed, it's totally right. We tend to find there's normally um, about a forty ticket timeline where game can swing either way, whether it's an FOB, a, a flag, or a vehicle normally 40 tickets where it changes the game so from 300 to 160 tickets or vice versa um, and and that was like you said Popanov because as Popanov was being hit the FOB went down so unfortunately the US forces had no uh, points to, to respawn and, and keep up that pressure and essentially what that allowed them was Russia to push out south and, uh, and get that cap on Hill uh, North Village um, do we want to close that out, Sass? Or yeah, I think uh, really to to close it out, guys, we're going to take a, a a ten minute break. But you know, we 
streaming tonight is especially for charity guys uh it is for stackup.org veterans are our mission gaming is our passion guys uh be sure if you keep what if you want to follow uh, follow us now we're going to have round two in the next 10 or so minutes um but please uh stay watching and join a squad um, and the giveaways that they're going to be giving away, I think, away now, and a, a few others as well. Uh, they're, they're going to have the streamers versus streamers very soon. A lot of streamers around. They're going to have uh, the the four v four close quarter combat uh, or battle happening uh, very, or maybe the next couple of hours. Squad ups to finish off. But guys, every five dollar donation, wherever you donate it to, will get you in the running for those giveaways, guys. Um, thank you very much for, for sticking around. If you, you're going to go off and do something else, certainly can. But we are going to start round two in 10 minutes' time. I'm going to leave it there with good old stackup.org's promo video because a picture speaks a thousand words, guys. Um, and it, this is the, the main cause where we're uh, raising funds for tonight. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you in 10 minutes. Catch you later. Stackup is a nonprofit that focuses on using video games to help veterans either prevent PTSD, cope with PTSD, or just have an outreach to where they have an outlet to where they can meet fellow veterans that want support as well. Stackup has three core programs. We have our uh, Supply Crate program, where we send video games to veterans overseas. Uh, that is part of our initiative to help create a stress-free environment for them, or the closest thing we can to it. We have our Local SACS program, which is our community outreach, so to speak, our volunteers across the nation. And last, we have our Aerosol program, where we fly out about vets to events, and we try and show them a good time. You can go to stack-up.org, uh, it's our website. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter or Facebook, it's stackup.org, D-O-T. And also we have a public Discord server that information is on all of our social media. Those would be the three easiest ways to do it. If not, you can always shoot me an email. Stackup exists because we felt that there was a, a need for a charity that not only wanted to help veterans, but wanted to focus on the gaming approach. Because, you know, you're a gamer, I'm a gamer, we're all gamers, we know that gaming is a relaxing thing. And it helps us to unwind. And we want to make sure that there's someone that is focusing on that approach, as opposed to uh, taking a more general or broad approach. Stacks are local groups of volunteers that stack up together to support veterans locally and use gaming as a shared language to create welcoming and supportive environments for veterans. 
Hi, I'm Jason Mascara. I'm a member of the Pittsburgh Stacks. My name is Anthony Keaton, and I'm with the San Francisco Bay Area Stack. I got involved with the Stacks because I wasn't able to serve myself, and I've always wanted to give back to veterans, and this is a way I could reach out to them through gaming. Stacks represent a community of friends, family, brothers, and sisters in arms, and supporters all coming together for a common mission, and here that's supporting veterans with gaming. The Stacks are important to get veterans back together to foster that relationship of community and then using gaming as you know that conduit to get together and to have a good time and to just relax. The Stacks are organized for civilians and veterans to come together to volunteer to help out veterans in need whether they're deployed overseas or just tough times here at home and have a little fun in the process. We are Stack Up. Will you join us? My name is Steve Machuga. I'm the founder of StackUp.org. We uh, have a program called our Air Assault Program where we fly disabled or deserving veterans to events like PAX E3, things like that. The idea is a lot of these guys would never be able to come to one of these, and we want to be able to bring them in as a way of saying, you know, not just thank you, but showing them that when you come here and you see 70, 80,000 people and cosplayers and everything like that, oh, look at all these people. I'm not alone out there. My name is POC Christopher Allen Griffin. I served for three and a half years before being honorably medically discharged. Gaming has brought me back from a really dark place. I, I felt lost. I didn't have a place to go. I didn't know what I could really do with myself. Gaming took me away from my problems and allowed me to express myself in a more functional manner. My name's Elliot Alcantara, Staff Sergeant Retired, U.S. Army. Almost 13 years time in service. Um, 40 months total spent in between Iraq and Afghanistan. In those hours where once everything's done, those chill hours, they're chill to other people, but they're not always chill to me. That's the times where the, you get into those dark places and all that, you get stuck in there. It's a good way for me to center on something, focus on something. You know, it gives me something to look forward to. And those times that once before for me were like the witching hour, that's when I go and that's when the trouble would start to happen for me, you know? It made the, those formerly troubled hours of the day, the, day, the hours that I actually looked forward to and that where I was doing just fun things. Soldiers dealing with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, there's no white paper out there saying, hey, six hours of Call of Duty a night will get you over your combat tremors. Gaming, in order to proceed, you have to be paying attention. So it forces you to maintain focus on something other than everything else that you're worried about. All right, my name is uh, Sean Ravel. I was a sergeant in the United States Army. Uh, I was an infantryman. I spent seven years serving my country. I spent two years in Iraq, Missoula, Basra. When I picked up gaming, it was a way to immerse myself into something and feel comfortable. And even if you're, you know, out with your family, you're talking to friends, your mind's still going a mile a minute. Gaming just settled everything down. It, it put everything in front of me versus around me. My name's Trevor Harris. I was a corpsman in the Navy. I was a HM3. I was deployed out with uh, 1st Air Armored Recon, 1st Marine Division. It's been a, just a great stress reliever, uh, being able to escape from kind of reality. I also kind of connect with people and like kind of break the ice to like be able to share stories and talk with people. Chilling out and just zoning out and just playing, playing video games. There's a lot of veterans out there that you know try to connect through gaming and together we can talk about gaming but then that also leads into the places that we've been to and the things that we've gone through and talk about that in a more positive light and a more healing light.
Alright guys, hello and welcome. We're, we're back for round two. If you've stuck around, thank you very much. If not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all because we're still going to start raising funds. Head over to join squad. If you've got two monitors, have both running at the same time. Why not do that? But in the meantime, we're going to start round two. Big win for the Russians last round. I'm going to stay on the United States Army side. The Russian side uh, will have Z Troop over there. Blitzer has gone off. Far, far away, and he's going to help out the streamers. Uh, are happening over on a join squad uh, Twitch, right? Uh, have, I think it's happening right now, uh, Z, isn't it? Yeah, it should be coming up any minute. Yeah, coming up very, uh, any minute. He's going to lead a, a bunch of streamers to glory and teach them the game in the in the meantime. Uh, we're going to continue with our CCFN charity event. Another round to, uh, to raise funds. Guys, uh, as I mentioned, good old stackup.org is a worthy charity. Uh, basically, uh, raising funds. Uh, raising funds, and it's the only charity... You know, directly supporting the military through gaming. There's no other charity like it, okay? You know, veterans are our mission. Gaming is our passion. You know, how do they help? You know, they raise money to raise the morale, to fight, of course, depression, combat injuries, and PTSD. I think we've already raised uh, over $1,200 uh, over this past week. You know, a couple hundred tonight. Thank you so much for the donations. Every $5 donation gets you in the... The, the draw to win prizes, you know. Uh, can, I, can I just say? Yeah. Like I, I keep saying it. Well, uh, the uh, CCFN community is is relatively small, and you guys have donated so much. And also, you guys have been dominating the giveaways. I don't. I think <laughs> at least five or six CCFN guys have been amongst the winners. That's uh, <laughs> that's just amazing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, as Z said, we are a small community. We are cons we're, we're made up of clans. That's a, that's all we're we're made up of. Um, I, before I start the the squad leader comms, I uh, just want to have a bit of talk here. But um, we're, we're made up of clans, and all we want to do is really have a good time. We do have a competitive scene, which is Tactical Tuesdays, and you can see us on Tuesdays on this Twitch, where we see clans battling out for a bit of competition, a bit of competitive scene. Um, but the Sunday main event um, is not. It's semi competitive. It's just clans getting together to. To show and, and to play how squads should be played. That is it. That is it. And all these clans are French. Uh, are French. Well, there's there's a couple. There's asterisks that are French. But all of these guys are French. And they're from all over Europe and around the world. We have Americans, Swedes, French, uh, Russians. Well, Australian, but I'm just a streamer. Um, but, of course, uh, the UK, everywhere around Europe and everywhere around the world, we do have clans participating in this, guys. But the main main point is good old stackup.org. If you, of course, leave us after this, go head on to another uh, uh, Twitch uh, Twitcher or someone who is twitching and rep uh, representing stackup.org. Donate to them as well. Um, it's for that worthy cause, guys. It is really... And it's CCFN... Wow, uh, just a Humvee just blowing up there, but CCFN will continue, will continue to support stackup.org, um, and we will look at maybe monthly or quarterly charity events for them. Um, of course, as you've seen, $1,200 already raised from CCFN, such a small community, and you guys as well. Um, we're going to stick with it. Um, that that is going to be our, our charity of choice, guys. A thousand dollars because we've raised over a thousand dollars. That allows us to send a supply crate to a veteran. Uh, so we're going to have a, uh, a a bit of a, a vote between the CCF and community who to send it to, or which military military base to send it to. But every five hundred additional dollars, we get to send another supply crate. And there we go. We have, actually have another. Uh, we have a BTR down and a Humvee down, but let's get into the action. We're, we're here for round two, um, and, and let's get, of course, the stream comms up and running. Hill for, I, I didn't have a so yeah, there was actually was an interesting development while you were depot. talking. It seemed they wanted to Pretty mirror what, uh, what happened last round around uh, Ammo Hill. And they even had a Logitech truck here, but when they pulled up, they seemed to sort of regret it. And be like, no, we couldn't get in there in time. So they pulled the logic truck back to around their main and now coming up on the east side instead. Roger that. So 
Uh, that's what we were following just briefly before was that truck until then I zoomed out over towards the north village heading up towards Papa. But um, that's that's a uh, that's a really good move there. If if the yeah, re if the regret is in the air, yeah, how about yeah, got, you know not sacrifice there. such a valuable asset? That that Logi truck. It, it gets fobs activated and it gets those resources happening for squad leaders to to put down those uh defenses or those emplacements. Um, so a very smart was, uh, move there. I think it was a wise call because they're already sort of covering that hill because obviously they know the trick because they did it last round. Yeah, yeah and they would have been caught out. So so the truck lost the, the, truck, lost the momentum. So all the that. so the anticipation. Um, that's We're that's all it really We're is. So if we, we have a look, uh, North Village now being capped. So it looks like Paradise there. So it's only Paradise and an Asterix uh, on North Village. Airs and Coin 2. Bobby now uh, getting up. It looks like Airs being the medic there. Medics squid are important, one, guys. One, be advised, I need an ammo crate. Can you place an ammo crate on the hill, Fob? But a large number Copy. of the American for actually, sorry, the Russian oh, forces located on Papa. Americans trying to get in, getting close to the close to the wars, grenading where they can. Already taken down their red coat, Soba. Someone falling through the map there into the abyss. So let's have a look at the map. We are playing Full Story Double A's version down, 3. Down. Russians starting. We'll, we'll actually do the Americans. Uh, of course, the Americans starting yes, yes, yes. down at very, Copy very deep south. J11 keypad 6, I believe it is. Uh, of course, capturing their first point here. Then to the hill 1, 2, 3, followed by North Village. Fob, Papanov, Hilltop and Camben, Ammo Depot, OP, good old Fortress, and B2, the Russian main spawn. It looks like they put a. The Russians have put a fob on for Papanov. Is that correct? Ah, well, just having a look here. So, looking from the American side, I think they. I think they might have. So. Squad three, uh, cap is blocked. Noise village. What I will squad, do. Yeah, squad three, you can help that. Actually, Z, if it, if it's possible, head on over to the Russian side. Uh, you, you can be village. able to give me the ticket counter for them and let me know of uh, yeah, any. Any emplacements yes. that they, uh, they might have, yeah, let's, 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 yeah, let's give that a go. Ah, uh, okay, no, on the American side this time. 471 tickets, 1 hour 51 left in play. Already within that 9 minutes, 30, almost 30 tickets lost for the American forces. Z Trooper now just above me. He's going to look on the Russian side of things. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yes, they do indeed have a fob up here. It's a different uh, tactic for that team this time. Hmm. Not yeah, using their assets uh, defensively the either. It's an interesting setup. So you do see like a three-man squad there. So you do have Double M's Baby Jesus now getting taken down. MM Bambi still up. Um, and you do have F.A. Dean, which was there as well, but as uh, getting taken down. A lot of the old man bring death guys and Exodus guys. Actually, one Exodus guy there. Red coats as well on for Papanov. It is such a strategic point. Um, capturing for Papanov can turn the tides of the game. But we do see now the Americans starting to push in towards the North Village area. That shed being if used again. We saw last yeah, round that shed, hill. that bloodshed. You can try and take out Literally the a bloodshed. Um, yeah, well. Where the the Americans last round just staying inside that area. Bivar Zulu though, I think taking down four. On that bloodshed, getting taken down by him, uh, by himself. Chronic, the squad leader, getting taken Basically down with SVG in, uh, Smiley Gage. still up. That shed is hotly contested in both matches. It is. That's interesting. It is. It like it is. That's where everyone goes to. It seems that's the the magnet to to uh, the the North Village because there's there's quite a number. There's there's one on the. There is one on the say north northeast side, but. Really, this this south one there, people like to stay in. The Americans I now. I the northern one. <laughs> 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 so 
So Americans now getting on to the North Village. Now they've captured the North Village. It's really all about Fort Papadov for the American forces next. Uh, we do see, uh, looks like one squad, I think it's Fear Academy, um, and a couple of their guys there. On the eastern side, they've placed a fob on, the on side, K2 keypad. Uh, four and Copy squad that, three. It looks like we're going to see a BTR get Be flanked. The well, they've marked the position of a BTR. Uh, F uh, fighting honey badgers FHB there. El Duderino and the Mohom there had an idea that's where a BTR was located, but now it has been updated on the map to be down on the Golf Two keypad six and three. That is correct. With a couple of uh, Zulay Delta guys. I think a couple of lats. The lodgy is just we do, we do see hill, one, two, three, uh, a, hunters, a hunting crew now. We see Yoda chucking out some smoke onto that BTR. I did this a good tip for public players watching this. If you come up against the BTR and you don't have anything to take it out, Distract, disorientate, and make it combat ineffective. Smoke's the perfect way to do that. And that's what, like, Yoda being, he has the LAT kit, but now you can see that BTI is slowly moving back. He's like, where did those smoke grenades come from? Because he, he doesn't know he don't have that. And if he can't see anything, he's just going to retreat if he's smart. Yeah, exactly. Uh, unfortunately, now with that BTR having the eyes through the trees, uh, taking down the squad leader there, but medics are the backbone. If you have a great medic, he can save a lot of things for your squad. He's going to save the tickets. He's going to also tell the squad leaders of any injured people on the map and also any people that are down on the map. That gives the squad leader, I guess, some advice and some forward thinking of where the enemy might be coming from. Medics, uh, if you are new to squad, I recommend go into the medic role and just learn. Learn everything about medic. Because once you become a great medic, you can actually become a great squad leader, in my opinion. Remember to have a few guys in our village. Oh, just in case the these 20R guys in the BTR, they're flirting with the disaster. They keep driving over this guardrail. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just captured it then. Very lucky there. Of course, guardrails can... And, and small walls on, uh, on various maps can be uh, the worst enemy for an asset. BTR slowly drifting away. Uh, we do have a, a, a small assault now happening on Papanov. We do see a couple Americans now getting inside the compound areas. Asterix, one of them. Paradise as well, one of the French clans. That's a good uh, envelopment they have of it. Especially, uh, especially with that fault there. And they're having a... looks. Like it could be a crow, let's have a look. It is going to be a crow, which Paradise, ZB, and Dunkerbeck are going to take control of on the east side. And that building, they are engaging there. There is a fob in there. Oh, wow. They are engaging all of them. So, so old, this, is, uh, this, is, this is how you take it. So, old man bring deaths there. I'm a fetus. Getting taken down by the suppression. I wouldn't actually say that the U.S. is doing a better job necessarily than the uh, U.S. team were doing last round. I think it's simply because of the defensive network that the Russians had set up last round that didn't allow the U.S. to do what they're doing right now. Very, so the yeah. U.S. The, the US has, guys, has the, the option to bring up the pros and do this and support their squads, which they could not do last round. And that's why this uh, this fob takedown and and point takedown is going so well. Oh, well, uh, exactly. We, we do see, you know, the, the Russians from last round are the the United States from this round. You know, so, so coming off that win, they had some great uh, communication, it's like beautiful communication. Um, I'm just actually yes, making sure of that beautiful communication, and they're still doing the same in this round also. Yeah, that BTR's moved down towards hilltop. So there, looks like uh, Mohom there stating that BTR moving down towards the the hilltop area. And it is, it's just uh, below the, the crevice of 20R BTR. So this, uh, 
like we were mentioning uh, at the end of last round, sort of the state of the battle right now is that everyone's feeling each other out, figuring out where everyone is coming from, sort of establishing battle lines. And I think we're going to see a pivotal moment soon, what happens up here. And then yeah, we're going to see how, how well people camp. react if this goes down Appreciate or if the attack you. fails. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with that. That first 15 minutes is that sort of feel that area. Let's see what the enemies are thinking. Are they flanking a lot more? Are they defending a lot more? Okay, so then we can start yeah, to... We, got it on the we can start to get our sort of plans in order, and then once executing those plans, and that's what the Americans okay, are doing guys, now. The Americans have found the weak point of on, on uh, Fort Popinov, and where was it? It was the northeast section. That's where the, the weakness was on the northeast section of Fort Popinov. So they had one group down towards the south heading uh, along the east side. And then a majority of the group were heading over towards the, the northeast. So now the FOB getting taken down there, that's going to cost 20 tickets for the Russians. Also building a FOB on the K2 area allows for that constant supply as well. And then you have that Logi truck heading back to base. Constant Logi. Back to base, yes. resupply, back to base, resupply. Beautiful here from the American forces. 430 tickets. Now comes the test for the Russian side, because they've they've honestly had plenty of warning. They know that FOB was uh, in a bad spot. Uh, not not necessarily a bad spot, but it was in a, it was in a hot spot, right? Yep. Now it's taken down. Yeah, they know they're going to lose this flag. So they have a chance good. to organize a defense if they wanted to. Uh, yeah, squad two push was north village. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they, they mount a defense in time, because there's also a bit of uh, space between the next two flags. Yeah, we're holding off a BTR at the moment and just defending the FOB, so it's up to you. We can pull back. So you do see the Americans the capturing uh, FOB popping off, but you do see a couple of the Russians inside the north village. I do see, what do we have coming BTR down the road? BTR down the, uh, coming in. Neutralizer. Americans now neutralizing FOB at Papanov. Oh, that was an interesting thing. Just running yeah, in it like that. Working. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have it drunken back. Unfortunately, around that sort of the BT, Royal BTR, Royal BTR location, BTR, BTR hitting, hitting that tree. Scabie and Red Rossi. Red Rossi, the squad Got leader there. BTR I think he wanted to place a, a rally point. He's now down, and that BTR is still up. So every every LAT is going to be looking, and I think we just saw a BTR just get taken down. That 20R BTR. Wow. Oh, the BB one is also in trouble. Yep. It's being hunted by, uh, okay, the, by the a whole lot of Americans. As well. So LATs are going to try and get close, but not too close. BTR is, of course, a very deadly uh, asset. But I think we are going to see one. Oh my god, there goes another BTR. There, Yoda. Are now down. Yoda yeah, Prime there down from the FHB. Takes down that BTR. That's two BTRs in the space of a minute and a half. How many well tickets done, is that? That's 60 tickets. That's three fobs worth. That's a yeah. lot of tickets. I, w I was following your ticket count uh, on the stream when I was. Uh, when they were attacking uh, Fort Papanov okay, and they were yeah, neck and neck. Is... Now these decisions are really costing them because there's about a hundred ticket difference. Wow. So you're, looking, you're up, looking around uh, about 416 to, to 300 and, and so. Uh, have you moved I mean, yeah, see if you can clear that these players shot. are uh, way better than myself personally, but personally I wouldn't have done this uh, when, this when everything was lost up here. Those two rushes to did not seem very... Um, re very the, uh, it wasn't a very safe option, that's for sure. We're in potential... We're, it's potentially losing that supply loot, we're being pushed back off the hill. So we do have Paradise Zebby here on the, the the North Village, alone in the Crow, in the Humvee. He's supplying the, the pressure, which is okay, but he does open himself with so two hits, chronic. three hits of an RPG to... Yeah, we're gonna let that fob... To, ...to get taken, but we do go. see... Back in at K2 and push village. We do see Paradise and Asterix, two French clans here. Slowly starting to surround 20R. With that Paradise Vince 2050 yeah, yeah, takes down two, takes down Robin Sage and Zulu. There's only another 20 R left alive. Another th oh my god, he takes the hat trick. He Go. takes the hat trick there. 
And I hear... I hear... I heard some comms. It could be the possibility of a fob could soon be taken down. With Redcoats now. Redcoats flanking out towards that western side. Because on G1 uh, keypad 3, we do have a fob located there. So that's that's what I'm thinking the, the Redcoats are, are going to go after. Okay, I, I do see the, uh, the meaning behind that rush earlier. I did not notice that North Flag, uh, North Village was still not captured. What yep. they were trying to do was rush in there, set up some new RPs and a fob, and then uh, and just keep the stalemate going. But that decision backfired. That was yep. a little bit too aggressive because they didn't have control of that North Hill. Squad three, you got so you're gonna have a very very soon. You're gonna hear around Rossi Raider saying, "We've found a fob. We've found a fob." Um, he's slowly to starting to push up to over towards that fob yeah. on the Russian side. They already called out that they found an RP down there. They're coming north mm. over the room. Yeah, so, uh, just another, uh, give or take, a bit of a push out towards the west, uh, eastern side. You will see, uh, the fob there for the Russian forces. You Rossi Raider there for, uh, one of the squad leaders there for the Russian forces getting taken down. Right now, uh, what we do see is we see the good old famous double neutral. Double neutral, what does that mean, guys? It basically means is that the North Village was captured by the American forces. They started to cap good old Papa, but in the meantime, we saw the Russians take it back. So what do yeah, the Americans yeah, yeah. have to do? They have to head back towards North Village, capture take, that, and take then... Take a look at the east side of North Village right now. This is going to be a, a thing. See the deep flank coming from uh, the Russian side here. Good old, so, old, old man bring death, yeah? I completely understand what's, what was going on uh, before with that rush. So they really they bet everything on keeping that double neutral because what's had, what has happened behind the enemy lines is they've set up a network of fobs Humvee, to sustain a push the if they we'll keep this up. From the west. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see if it still pays off. Copy They're down, playing very optimistically. Would... It's very nice Jeez, to see. Days. Yeah, old man bring death. Uh, old man bring death. Of course, heading up towards that sort of K line. The real close to the oh, front. they know that hill. <laughs> oh, they know. Yeah, they know that hill. They were there last time with our Torsman. Torsman was uh, located there with a 50 cal. So they know that hill. They know every layer of it. But they have to really be careful. Oh, the Americans do have to be be careful of K2 keypad four. Now below the kilo two four. They have yeah, called out the fob now. There, yep, right? and, and Chronic stating there that we are getting contacts uh, just below that Kilo 2 fob. So you can see two two squad leaders opposite sides. You they're not certain which building it is in, but they've taken a guess at it. Mm. And I think they're correct. So you see so you see the Russians, they're still on. There's, uh, there's still some of that bloodshed. Unfortunately, there for Egum the from Fear Academy getting taken down on. there by a couple of the squad beans in Serenium Vanguard SVG. Uh, we do we see the Russians. Look at that. That's all it's about. Copy Good old medics five. getting their guys up, just really controlling the deficit of the of those tickets. So you, know you can see Pintu and 20R getting people up. Squad like like I said before, these guys are better players than me, and it really shows because they've actually shrunk that ticket deficit they had by playing this optimistically and this aggressively. Even throwing all those assets into the fray, which is something you could do like early to mid game here. Yep. Because of the the large amount of tickets. Yeah, you get your, of course 500 tickets to play with over two hours sort of period. We stated before that that 15 minute period of a game is to really feel out your opposition and to see what sort of game they're trying to play. Are they they're looking to really play aggressive and push up? Are they going to flank? Are they going to defend? You know, there, there's many things, um, and that's what the that's the job of a squad lead um, is. Uh, what what is the opposition looking to do? Um, it's a constant. There's there's so many battlefronts here. We just don't know what to pick. We got a mm -hmm. battlefront on the North Village for the double neutral that's happening. Americans right, doing their the their absolute problem. best to try and get back North Village. So then they can head up towards body. Papanov. Squad one and, their, and squad four heading to the south side of the fob located on the kilo 2 because you have old man bring death up there squad 3 out towards the good old G1 G2 area are, are, are under contact also defending a fob there 
So now uh, we just received comms there that the Americans are starting to cap the North Village. This is where I'd like to see us uh, have the 100-player uh, capability because what this is a uh, if we had one more squad to maneuver, if not two, that would have been amazing to see because they've drawn them off the cap completely. It would have been able, amazing to see what they've done with those. So American Army now captured the North Village. Old Man Bring Death, I'm going to go back over towards them. Sorry I couldn't really uh, to show the, the full piece. It's, uh, there's so many fronts to, to go to really go to. But Old Man Bring Death now getting yeah, taken, taken back. Uh, we had a whole, I think, nine-man squad of Old Man Bring Death now. Only Soda left alive. Soda's always left alive for Old Man Bring Death. I don't know why. But every time I, I capture him on uh, Community Clan Finite, he's always left alive. I think it's because he usually plays Medic. And Medics should always stay in the back lines. Um, it's going to be uh, unfortunate here if Ritsu does see him. It was interesting to see job, all, while all this nice. was going on. So it started out with about a hundred ticket deficit after those two BTRs went down. Then what happened um, is they got it down to about 50 tickets during this whole wow. big push. And if they had managed to take down that FOB, I think they would just even it all out BTR with, with all the map control. But what has happened is that the Russian side has sort of run out of steam. Oh no! Oh, another no. BTR, BTR lost! That is a, okay. another 30 tickets, so... Yeah, what I was gonna say is Sorry. we're back down to the to 100 deficit. Now they're below that. <laughs> 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 So they're out of out. Okay, so the American forces here, 360 tickets. We do see. Three two, two six over here. Yeah, pop it okay, up. two six. All right. right so 130. That was that was one ah. step. These guys we, we, uh, over on this western side, especially Yoda Prime. I'm, I'm going to go down towards Yoda Prime as well. Um, he's been constantly there with the LAT. Um, it takes three shots Top to take down a BTR, but he's been very close uh, with his other squad member that oh, has the LAT. Okay, set, uh, um, look here, they, uh, they got a US top. convoy, a Lodgy truck, and a Humvee, a just ready for this. being taken out. Copy that. Down at uh, Hotel 4. Hotel 4. Ah, I do see that. So we do see the 20 oh. R guys now pushing over that Humvee. But now the, the chain of caps came through. It, see, this was the okay, pivotal moment. Hills, like, it was fluctuating, it was all even, it was had a chance to come back, and then it sort of all broke down yeah. now. All yeah. these events just happening. So now, yeah, that, uh, of course, the Americans, Americans are in control. They, they've captured the double neutral, so they, they captured the North Village. The next was, of course, Fob Papanov. So once they recapture that, because of the double neutral, it was in no one's control. Americans losing the, the North Village, unfortunately. Recapping that, now capturing uh, Papanov, losing BTRs. Um, unfortunate not being able to take the, the K2 Fob. Not a, a very unfortunate to take the, the G1 Fob. You know, if they lost, uh, if they lost uh, North Village, they lost those two Fobs. We could see a totally different game happening here. But a couple of BTRs lost it as well. Uh, takes down that... Takes that deficit to a large number. Yeah, we're currently sitting on 162. Um, but we do have a question here from Guy Ripper. Z Trooper, are we so getting points for taking down right? vehicles assets in the future? Well, at um, the moment... Well, at the moment, no. And in the future, very unlikely. Because that's not a primary objective. That's something that the team needs to make up if that's an objective. Yeah. There, so is, it, still, there is still an offset of tickets, mm. right? You take away from them, you just don't gain any. Yep. You don't gain any ground. That's what taking an objective symbolizes. Yeah. That you gain ground and gain resources that you can then spend in the war. Yeah, we do. Uh, Gay Ripper there stating as well. Three BTRs are <laughs> that the Russian need to play like gods to win. Um, stating the I question mean, as he said, and he said, yeah, as shown in the scoreboard. You know, because we do I, see I on the scoreboard the kills, the deaths. We don't see vehicles down or, or fobs taken as well. Um, I mean, the B BTR, that's that's a, that's an asset that's still in infancy in terms of uh, capabilities. But the Russian side last game showed that you don't even have to play them like gods. You just have to play them to their strengths, their current strengths. And they will absolutely wreck face. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the future, they will get they will get stronger. There's a bunch Good of smoke teamwork. launchers on there. There's an extra machine gun. There's a coming a better physics system for the wheels. Like it's gonna perform a whole lot better in the future. And they're already doing well now if they're used just oh, a yeah. little bit cautiously. Yeah, they're pushing the northern. So that, that's something to watch out for. Yeah, the, fo the fobs are working quite well. If we can maintain the fobs, they're keeping them back off Papanov. So it looks like, yeah, um, Chronic there south of Hilltop stating the that, the, that the fobs have been working really well. Having a fob out towards the east side and west side of Papanov have contained Papanov. So it, it's been a strategy for these guys, I guess, uh, the infancy of, of this game. It's only 30 minutes played, 352 tickets. But uh, that was the strategy for these... Uh, for these American forces or squad leaders coming into this match um, is having a, a rough structure but something that can be changed you know something that in the heat of battle okay no nah, what we said here has to change to this so and now we see a couple of the American forces getting on top of the hilltop encampment which is the next attack flag for the Americans I think uh, I think the full story of this game is told by just a fault placement on the uh, Russian side. It, it was a very optimistic and very aggressive fobs all across the board. They basically have fobs strewn all across the okay, US side of the, the map in the forests right, and also up at Papanov in the beginning. Like they were determined to hold and then use those fobs aggressively, which they didn't really come into fruition. But now they have no defensive fobs. So it's just escalating their their overall strategy. That, yeah. So so they're gambling on a on a huge offensive and just rolling, but that never really happened. And now they're, now there's oh in a bad spot. Beautiful there, beautiful there from Bivar Zulu, just chucking a grenade onto that yeah, Humvee any, 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 Crow. Any that's head. actually ta taken down Neo Sand on the hilltop encampment. Wow, very unlucky nice. there for the Crow. If there are any RPGs around. Um, that's not going to be very nice for that oh, crow. That's going to be Hilton one Hilton. dead crow. Um, let's head over towards... No, 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 we're not capping Hilton. And it looks like the K2 fob has been taken down. It looks like Old Man Bring Death settling a score. You take us down once, shame on you. Take us down twice, shame on you again. Take us down three times, we will take your fob. Um, and that's what they've know. done. I don't okay, know what it is with the long you're going to be in trouble on it's the like east flank. We need to show up the east the flank. The most defensive uh, east clan east that I can think of. But also in Copy. offense, they're just... They I'm never just go down. They're the slow, side. unstoppable force. Just they are. They, on the they rarely do anything flashy, we are we are at least when I watch them. But can, they always do their job. Can you confirm for me also, has Old Man Bring Death placed yeah, a fob on... Yeah, oh my, yeah. Wow. Yeah, if you can put this that is a favorite together, trick of mine. Good. Whenever you take down an enemy fob, it's plate your own there. Because they'll never look there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. They'll, they'll never revisit that, that, that area. Uh, give us a shout. We'll come across. We'll just abandon D1 fob. It looks like, uh... Just Just checking to see if there's any medics around. Looks like Soda is one of the medics. Now our banishing Kylan there. He's going to get out his pack and start to get Kylan up. The good old hand of God using that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have some fantastic medics. I think that's the key to their survivability. Yeah. As a squad and as a unit. Definitely uh, Soda, one of those, those medics. He, that's what I stated before. He's the always one to go down last because he stays at the back of the group. If medics go, if the medics take the point and go down, well, who's there to to revive and, and help with this sort of tickets? Uh, Papanov yeah. now, it looks like, has Double M and Fear Academy there. A couple of uh, clans. It looks like Squad 1 looking on the east and west side. Very smart there. Squad 3 still coming in contact, it looks like, on the, uh, the west side on the Fox 2 area. But Squad 2 getting on the south side of Hilltop. And now we do have, it looks like, Asterix stating Hilltop. And Boholm giving you some really good spotting advice there. Um, he is located on the Foxtrot 2 keypad 3 uh, squad leader using his binoculars. He's then going to tell squad, uh, Asterix Bobby, which he did, um, that they are starting to get on the north side of Hilltop. Uh, a couple of squads, so then they can start to embrace that attack. We're already at squad 4. Getting on ammo depot, so we do have the neutralization of the uh, of the hilltop encampment by the American forces. I think we should. 
and they're already okay, um, once we, we once that's them, capped. Think Squad Three should take down that fob, and then everyone just spawns on the uh, again. In Impressive. The I7 yeah. Fob. So uh, I'm reading your screen right then, here. Yeah. They've yeah. managed to pull back yeah, the deficit wait, squad, somewhat. On, on uh, not not cap, fully. They're still down 120. Mm. But at one point they were down squad 200. Squad, so squad, so, so uh, they're, mm. they're still fighting. And that's 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 what Squad is about, guys. If you're down in tickets, or you feel that you're down in tickets. Don't feel down yourself. Don't feel demoralized. Keep the morale up. Putting morale up. We, we've seen uh, a couple of weeks ago a CC event uh, on a tactical Tuesday on a, a special Tuesday event. We had a couple of these clans battling it out. We saw we saw one team come back from 250 tickets to win the game. Me and Chronic called it. You know, they, they, the on Falls Road, uh, one of the other layouts, the fortress was held for the entire game. And we thought it was all over. But it was just the sheer momentum and the sheer communication of this demoralized team that really brought them back into play. Taking down enemy fobs where they could. Taking down the assets. You know, exploiting the enemy weaknesses where they sort of found it. And they won. They won by 30 tickets. Being down by 250 tickets and you feel like you run down, never give up. Keep up the fight. Um, so that, that's about squad and medics. Medics, get people up where you can. A good tip for, for a yeah, combat is also, when you're on the defense and you're taking a beating, it always feels like the enemy's everywhere. They're just as many as you, they can't be everywhere. You Normally, if you can disengage, disengage, flank, go find that fob that stops all their momentum, and then you can steamroll the other way. I've done it many times over. Definitely okay, possible. Exactly. Move. Change up your tactics. If you are, like, if you're attacking one place and you're constantly getting beaten down, you know that place is, is too heavily defended. So, just think. Okay, maybe send one scout out the, uh, towards the east or the west. No, it seems pretty clear out this way. Start the flanking maneuvers. Get someone on there to give suppressive fire. Then start with the flanking. Guys, you have to be, uh... Uh, of course, with this game, you just have to think on the fly, and sometimes doing that can uh, really save the game. So now, uh, getting back into the game, uh, just being really driving around with the with with the cam here, but the Americans dominating the hilltop encampment. They are dominating the western, southwestern side, north and northeastern side. Squad four, I think they've found a fob. Could you confirm a fob on G five keypad two for me? Z? G5, Kappa 2, no. Okay. There is no fob so it looks there. like, yeah, so... There's a bunch of more in the area. That might yeah. be what sort of feels like a fob. So that's what that's drawing squad 4 of the Americans. You know, they're drawing out over towards that location there. Um, yeah. This comes down to what I was talking about before, that they have no defensive infrastructure whatsoever set up. They were playing completely aggressive. So they're relying on RPs now, and they're coming from the same direction. So it feels like a fob should yeah. be over there. Yeah. I'm starting to move the uh, squad one guys towards the uh, hilltop. Nice there from Marvin 91, getting the headshot on kill me 20R. Okay, 75% cap, 75%. Alright, let me have a look at the chat. Guys, don't remember, just remember guys, this is all about stackup.org. It's not about CCFN and CCFN being on a, a Friday night. Not at all, man. It's about the ch it's a charity stream, so you can see up in the the top left hand corner across the the top CCFN over the past week. Uh, this is the first official day of the event. It goes across the the weekend. Uh, CCFN over the past week have raised uh, I think uh, around about a thousand above above a thousand dollars. And thank you for the donators tonight as well. Um, we're a small community, but we think large about about the veterans around the world. Uh, these clans are from all all over the world. Uh, of course, NATO, Australian, me, uh, for one. Uh, we have a couple of New Zealanders that I that I know in uh, the clan that I'm in. Uh, all around US uh, as well. Guys, stackup.org is fighting against good old depression, PTSD, and combat injuries with the help of gaming. That the only Charity or military charity? Just want to give you an update. Yeah, please. We're down to seven okay, tickets. Two advice. things just happened at once. Yeah, and that took away almost West. all that was left. You're, you're down to how many tickets? That. We're try and cover that That's seven. Seven. Same, same seven tickets. Wow. I was looking okay for a while. They had a chain event. 
just happened. Okay, we've been we've wow. been like, uh, on Hammer Depot. Oh, no. So uh, Americans taking okay, we the are hilltop camping. encampment. Three, uh, you need to push. Ammo yeah. Depot. Now yeah, starting to get don't capped. Don't Squad got three got have taken down their fob as uh, as stated before. Americans get it. They had the momentum. I think the whole game. Um, there, there, there was that one exchange where they rushed into BTRs and almost took out that fob in North Village. I think there's a decent chance for a for a solid comeback there, Change but it didn't happen. Line. They ran out we'll of steam. Play, Good games. Okay, there we have okay, it, 306 guys, we'll tickets, so we do did see you know, the you... Russian forces yeah, in round one and the American <laughs> American forces in round two taking out both games You're on one and for, three, dude. for CCFN. <laughs> <What>? No joke. <laughs> oh, I'll, wait, I'll, wait for them. Kills, I'll yeah. wait for them to talk top, and then I'll... Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Not top top of the score. It's hard to talk over. <laughs> of, the, of the squad. Oh. All right. As you as you can see there, um, we did see a, a brief thank you at the, at the end. Then uh, CCFN staff and o, uh, OWI, thank you so much. Um, that is just a taste of what Community Clan Fight Night is like. Uh, happens every Sunday and every Tuesday, um, and some special events over the week as well. Uh, but really, uh, as stating guys, StackUp.org is all. It's all about tonight. It's not a. It's not about CCFN, it's about helping this cause. Putting one or two dollar donation can really help these vet uh, veterans battle depression, PTSD, and co uh, combat injuries, guys. Um, StackUp.org is the only military charity to really support through gaming. Okay, how do they do that? Is that they do it three ways. They send supply crates to uh, hospitals, uh, humanitarian missions, uh, operation, peacekeeping operations, the front lines, okay, filled with games and consoles is because when these soldiers, whatever they're doing overseas, is that when they come back to the barracks, they have sometimes nothing to do and they can then feel alone. By having video games and studies have shown is that it can really help with the flashbacks that they do have under PTSD and then suffering depression that way. You know, suicide rates, uh, I think, outnumbered uh, the unfortunate of U.S. soldiers killed uh, in one of the, the years past. And it's a, it's a really big uh, th thing that StackUp.org are doing is supporting uh, the veterans through this. Another way that they're doing is they're sending these uh, unfortunate disabled uh, veterans and deserving veterans to uh, major events around the world. Okay, um, we're looking at packs. We're looking at everywhere around the world. Okay, um, and of course, number three is getting with the local community. Okay, when these soldiers come back from overseas, they have Who's their family, but they also have um, sometimes nothing. Sometimes nothing. So when they create uh, a community specifically around gaming, they have that shared language, and that is basically the language of gaming guys all right putting one or two dollar donation in can save a bunch five dollar donation tonight will get you in the running for some epic prizes that join squad on switch are doing okay uh it's up to you if you guys have some spare change click the donation buttons go over to stackup.org get the donations in there if you see any tw uh, twitch streamers tonight there are multiple twitch streamers around the twitch universe streaming their event tonight for stackup.org if it's ccfn if it's stack up uh if it's squad up for stack up if it's uh just stack up website in general anywhere that is supporting this great cause donate to it it doesn't have to be specifically to us of course we are a supporting campaign of good old hashtag uh squ squad up for stack up i think at the moment over on the join squad twitch i think it's uh, de uh i think it's streamers versus streamers uh, join yeah. squad sorry join squad uh so twitch.tv join squad uh you do see i think it's streamers versus Stevens with a bit of devs a bit of uh a bit of really renowned uh, veteran squad players go check that out guys it's going to go on for yeah. several hours um and not just squad devs there's uh, devs from pretty much everywhere exactly uh i think it's battalion is is another one uh i think we have everything from twip Tripwire, Onward, Battalion, eh, pretty much anything in that category of, of developers in the, in the industry.
There you go, guys. Um, that that is really gonna conclude our uh, conclude our stream for now. Uh, we may look at in the next twenty minutes continuing our, our stream, even if it's me in first person point of view helping out the good old free weekend that we have at the moment since uh, Thursday. So helping out a couple of uh, new squaddies um, in terms of helping out with medic or squad leading or whatnot. Um, but maybe within the 20 to 30 minutes time, we'll continue our efforts to raise money throughout this weekend. Uh, we may look at a special event tomorrow night for CCFN. It could be Saturday Night Fever. We don't know. Oh, you yeah. guys, every night of the week. Exactly. <laughs> we we want to we wanna keep raising raising funds. Um, and and you're still doing your uh, Sundays? We're yeah. still, yep, yeah, we're still going to do uh, CCFN. What CCFN are we up to, Chronic? C I think it's 47 this week. So 47. So we have had 47 consecutive weeks of Community Clan Fight Night this year. December 18th is our big one. It is our glorious CCFN 52. Um, hashtag could be pretty epic. Hashtag secrets. Um, but yes, that's going to be on December 18th. But yes, we will have uh, CCFN 47 this week. Um, the same time, 18.30 UTC. We're still going to raise funds. We're going to raise funds all the way through until midnight on Sunday. Um, but stay with us tonight. We, we may uh, keep on streaming and keep on raising those funds. Um, Z, is there any final words just for now? <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for everything that you guys have done uh, and continue to do, apparently. <laughs> you guys don't stop. <laughs> you guys have really gone from uh, from the small request of you guys joining us for 45 minutes to just, like, you've taken on this issue with, with a cause. That's very impressive. It's just how we, just how we roll, Z. Exactly. Yeah, I, I love that. And that, that's amazing. that's chronic there. Of course, one of the the co-founders of, of uh, CCFN. I think Melbo and and Chronic were the the ones that they created in the first place. Chronic then taking the reins and and recruiting a, a couple of others. It's grown from a very small to a still still quite small community. But we uh, of course share the love around the the squad universe or the squad community. It might expand after this weekend. It may. Yeah, guys, don't if. Any new squad players that can get a clan of nine together or veteran squad or seasoned squad players and you can get a, a group of nine or a clan of nine together, come on over. CCFN is always welcome to these uh, to these new clans. It's a great way to, to learn about all the clans around the, the squad community. We have a, squ uh, a, a clan directory on our Discord that you can see below and click that uh, where you can... Organize some decent scrims if you want a 9v9 yeah, lot, or a... lots and lots of fights. Man. Yeah, man, we got so many goodies over in our our, our Discord, uh, Discord for CCFN. Um, uh, closing note, guys, thank you so much for everyone that has donated so far tonight. Uh, we may look at furthering our donations, of course, one to two dollars. Uh, dig deep, five dollars, and you'll be in the running for all the giveaways happening on Join Squad Twitch. Uh, from there on, this has been Saint Sassy's for now. Z Trooper there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and Chronic <laughs> and Chronic over there. Enough love, guys. Enough love. Enough Peace. There. Exactly. All right, we'll catch you possibly very soon. Maybe even twenty to thirty minutes, and we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, Until then, go go check out the new map that uh, the streamers are playing on. Yeah, Join man. Squad's Twitch. There you and go. I can join uh, Saint. <laughs> okay. Come to, come join either Sane or in the C in the CCFN community, guys. But either way, make the donations, make the cause worthwhile. Hit the the Twitter universe, the Facebook universe, um, and send the love out towards sta stackup.org. Saint Sassius here. Take it easy, guys, and I'll catch you later on.